People experiencing homelessness already have to deal with the harsh winters. But now, COVID-19 has complicated resources. Joel Brown with the Union Gospel Mission in Spokane says adjusting to the pandemic has not been easy. It's horrible. Uh, we don't want to turn anyone away ever. We reduced our capacity here at the men's shelter from 185 to 120. Brown says there is only one bed left at the shelter and recovery center in downtown Spokane. We'll be at capacity now until March or April of next year, but we're not taking people in and we know they're on the street. The city of Spokane issued new guidelines for shelters to follow in March. That includes symptom checks every day, bagged lunches, and the most difficult one, physically distancing guests. Shelters are usually designed to keep people in close quarters. The beds are spaced at least six feet apart. This limits the dorm to 12 clients instead of the typical 20. The guidelines prevent the center from helping as many people, but they are working. So far, the men's shelter has not had a single case. I don't know if that's luck, if that's a uh, blessing, uh, what, but um, we're happy. <laughs> The city of Spokane's Brian Coddington says they are working on a regional response with Spokane Valley and the Health District due to the increased need for space. This way, more people can stay out of the cold while still following social distancing protocol. Reporting in Spokane, Morgan Trow, Crem 2 News.